for most women or for most people with a female reproductive system, we grow up with the sense of not understanding ourselves. We grow up in communities and we are made to feel like something is wrong about this natural, beautiful process that happens to us, right? And so part of Uganda gynecology is not just about healing or uh, um, treating ama complications or ama gynecological issues, but for me in particular, it's about teaching from a very young age a young girl what is your body? When a child asks you, mommy, what is my body doing? Why is my body changing? How do we teach our young girls to stand up for themselves, to speak up, to speak out? And here's the other thing. We have this tendency of not using the right words. Yini kuku, yini keke, yini flower, yini mbali, yini ngomo. Very often, amakama asichenzi swayo, they are derogatory, stugana ngao. So how do I take pride in this thing, in this thing that has been used to telela? Sometimes that's the, the notion, when we think about gynecologists, we think about someone who is pregnant and who needs to go and deliver, or we talk up, we think about someone who's old, something is wrong with their womb that needs to be taken out. That is not true. We start gynecology when a girl starts their period because there are issues around there. And I want to stress a lot about issues of where we come from, what is in our family. There are things like, for example, endometriosis, which is what happens is Parts of the lining inside the womb, they spread into your tummy and they can cause excruciating period pains where you find girls missing school because their period pains are excruciating when they complain. We are all like this, we are all like that. That is unacceptable and we are depriving that child of their right to education because they get left behind. When they get left behind, they start failing. When they start failing, they get despondent. When they get despondent, they drop out. When they drop out, they fall pregnant. When they fall pregnant, they get HIV. When they HIV, do you see the sequel of the things that we could be sorting out, nipping it in the bud? Right. It is important for us to know and understand, particularly when we start being sexually active, there are things we need to go and check for. For us as, as, as women or as females, we need to go and do pap smears. We are looking for a virus called human papilloma that you get strains that are quite dangerous and they are the causing factors of cervical cancer. So we take the specimen from the front of the womb and to do a pap smear. We do this because we want to make sure that we are checking, is your body doing the right things in protecting you not to have other changes that may eventually lead to cancer. So everybody must go and have a pap smear if you have a vulva and a vagina and a cervix. Yeah, yeah.